hello friends welcome to coding host youtube channel in this video i will explain you what are decision making statements like if else if else if nested if and switch first we need to learn that what are control statements statements which breaks the sequential flow of execution in java program are known as control statements so our java program run in a sequence from top to bottom line by line yes that this line will be executed first then this line and th then this and this so our java program always run in sequence from top to bottom line by line but control st statements are used to break this sequence because we need to break this sequence for further use so we will see how we can use control statements in our program control statements are of three types decision making statements loop control statements and branching statements in this video i will explain you decision making statements and the rest to will be explained in upcoming videos let's see how we can use if else so i am making program to check from two numbers which is larger so i am declaring two variables here like int a is equal to 10 and int b is equal to 20 so i am passing a condition here that if a is larger than b we will print a is larger else we will print is larger because here we don't need to write b is if b is larger than a because if a is larger than b this statement will run and if not this statement we will run because only one statement will remain true at a time if a is larger than b or if b is larger than a so we don't have to pass again if it here that if b is larger than a so we can simply write else here and let's run this program so we are getting 20 is larger so this time this statement is executed because a is not larger than b so this statement will remain false and this statement runs and if this statement is true then this statement will be executed and this statement will not be executed so if i write 100 here and run this program again so we can see that 100 is larger so this statement has executed and now let's see how we can use if else if so i will take example of this program again so if you want to make a program to check whether of the two numbers which is larger and if the two numbers are equal or not so i have passed a statement already here that if a is larger than b and in next condition i will pass else if b is larger than a so we will write b is larger else i will write print ln print ln a and plus b plus r equal so when i run this program so at this time this statement is true so this statement has executed i am passing equal number on the both sides on the in the both variables and run this program so we are getting 120 and 120 are equal and this time both of these statements are false because a is not larger than b and b is not larger than a so the remaining case which is in the else will be executed so a and b are equal so this is how if else if work let's see how we can use nested if so i am declaring three variables here like int a is equal to 10 int b is equal to 20 and int c is equal to 30 so 
I want to make a program to check if A is smaller than B and C. Then we will print that A is smaller than B and C. And if not that, then we will print A is not smaller than both B and C. So let's see how we can do it with nested if. So I am passing my first condition here that if A is smaller than B. Then inside this if we will check next statement that if a is if a is smaller than c so if this both statements are true then we will print a is smaller than both b and and c so when this both statements are true we will print a smaller than both b and c and in else part we will write if not then we will print a is not smaller than both b, b and c and let's run this program so we can see that we are getting 10 is smaller than both 20 and 30 so this statement will only be executed when both of these conditions are true if a is smaller than b and a is smaller than c and if any of these statements is false then this statement will not be executed and this statement will execute let's see if i write 8 here and run this program so we can see that we are getting a is not smaller than both 8 and 30 because a is not smaller than b but a is smaller than c but still this line will not execute and this statement will be executed so this is how nested if work we can pass one if statement inside another if statement and so on now let's see how we can use switch a switch is used when we have multiple conditions to pass in our program so like so let's see with the help of program so i am making variable int a equal to 4 and uh, are you making switch switch and inside this switch i am passing our variable name a and we are using brackets for open and closing and inside this we will pass our cases like case 1 so if value of a is equal to 1 then this case will be executed so I will print one, one here and so on we, we will make more cases value of a is 2 we will print 2 and when is it is 3 we will print 3 and when it is 4 we will print 4 and when it is 5 we will print 5 and we also have to make a default case because if our st statement not matches any of these cases then this case will be executed that I will print that that enter a number smaller than 6 because we are making cases only for 1 to 5 so we are writing here that pass numbers from smaller than 6 run this program so you can see that in the output is equal to 4 so we are getting 4 but we are also getting 5 and enter value smaller than 6 so we have to use a special keyword known as break break so whenever any of our case match then this statement will execute and it will not execute any remaining statements so we have to use break in each of the cases we have in our program so our program will not execute the rest of the cases if any case match in our program so int a equal to 4 and now we are only getting 4 and not 5 and the remain case so we also have to use break in all the cases of our program
and this is how we can use a switch to make multiple cases in our program and we also have to define a de default case because if any of the case does not match then this default case will be executed so this is how a switch statement work so this is all about decision making statements thank you